Hi and welcome to this Adobe Express lesson all about space. And today we're gonna to create a two page infographic where we display some information about the eight planets in our solar system. So to start with, you're gonna to wanna to go to express.adobe.com and I'm just gonna press the plus in the top left and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go down to YouTube banner. This is because I want a nice horizontal page. Now the first thing I wanna do is add the most important part of our solar system and that is the sun. So I'm just gonna go into media photos and I'm just gonna search for sun. This looks like quite a good one. I'm just gonna select that image. It'll drop onto my page. I'm just gonna resize it. Now, I don't want this black background around it, so I'm just gonna make sure the image is selected and I'm gonna to go to remove background on the left-hand side. That looks good. Uh, I'm just gonna resize the image because obviously the sun is the biggest part of our solar system and I'm just gonna put it on the left-hand side over here. Now, there's a mnemonic to remember the planets. There's various different ones. Uh, my very easy method just speeds up naming planets. Now you might remember the planets at the end stands for Pluto, which is not considered a planet anymore, but it is a dwarf planet. So you could include that in your infographic or you could choose to leave it out. So in my mnemonic, my very easy method, the first M stands for Mercury. So I could search within Adobe Express for Mercury, but I'm actually gonna get some better images from Wikimedia Commons. And I might even get some images uh, or some photos that have been taken by the Hubble Space Telescope uh, by NASA themselves. So I'm just gonna go to Wikimedia Commons and I'm gonna search for Mercury Planet. And I get some nice choices here. I don't wanna choose an image that has the shadow on it because that'll be removed when I use the remove background tool. So I'm just gonna select this image here. And this is a really clear image of Mercury uh, that's taken by NASA. And this image is in the public domain, which means anyone can use it and it has no copyright at all on it. So I'm gonna copy and paste this image and put it into my work. So I'm just gonna go right click, copy image. I'm gonna go to Adobe Express and I'm gonna go right click, paste. Now I want to remove the background. So I'm gonna press the remove background button. And then I'm gonna do this for each of the planets. So I'm gonna put the four terrestrial planets or the four rocky planets on my first page. So here we go, I've now have the sun on the left hand side. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add a background of space and then I'm gonna label each of those planets. So to add a background, I'm just gonna to go to media, photos, and I'm just gonna search for space and select one that I think will be a good background. So if I select this image, it's appeared on my page. I'm gonna select this and there's a button here that says set as page background. And I think that looks pretty good. So the next thing I wanna do is actually label these planets. So I'm gonna start with Mercury. So down on the left hand side, I'm gonna to go to text and I'm gonna to go to add your text and I'm just gonna type in Mercury. Now, as we can see at the moment, the text is too big. So I'm just gonna reduce the size by grabbing the circle in the top right. Uh, I'm also going to change the color uh, to white because the text will stand out on a black background. So if I make sure the text is selected, I go down to fill and I'm gonna select white. Uh, I think it would look good if I rotate this text 90 degrees. So I'm just gonna rotate that text and I'm just gonna reposition it, make it slightly smaller. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is to just change the font. So you could go to recommended and you might find something you like in there. Uh, this is pretty good, Economica. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Now I could repeat the process for each of these planets, but because I want the label to basically be the same, I'm just gonna duplicate this a few times and then I'll edit the text. So if I select the text here and I go to duplicate, I'm gonna duplicate it two, three, four times. So I think that looks pretty good. Now these four planets closest to the sun are known as the terrestrial planets or the rocky planets. So I'm just gonna add that as a main title. So again, I'm gonna to go to text, add your text. Just gonna adjust the size here and I'm gonna change the fill color to white. Now what I might choose to do actually, just to make the title stand out a little bit better, um, is to add a shadow to this title. So if I just go down, I've selected the text, and if I select shadow, at the moment it's on black, so I'm not really gonna see it. I'm just gonna change that to a sort of a warmer color. Now the reason for that is the terrestrial planets or the rocky planets are closer to the sun, so choosing a warmer color makes more sense. So I'm gonna go to custom, and I'm just gonna see if I can sort of choose a bit of a warmer color just like that. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go onto my second page. So to add a new page, in the top right, there's this button that says add. If I select add, uh, I'm gonna add a page of the same size. So I'm just gonna select same size. I'm just gonna start with my background this time. So I'm gonna to go to media 
uh, photos and I'm just gonna search for space again. I'm gonna select that same space background, select the image and choose set as page background. So now I want to add the next four planets so I can remember my mnemonic uh, and I'll add in those planets now. So now I have two pages. I've got my terrestrial planets or the rocky planets on page one. If I press this arrow here, I can see my second page uh, where I've divided the next four planets into the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, and the ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. Now it's no coincidence that Uranus and Neptune are the planets that are furthest from the sun and therefore the coldest planets. That's why they're known as the ice giants because they're frozen solid. Whereas the gas giants are made up of mainly gases and liquids like uh, hydrogen and helium. So now what we can do is kind of add some general facts about these categories of planets and then go in and add individual facts about a few of the planets. So I'm gonna start on page one and I'm just gonna to go to text, add your text and I'm just gonna add a general fact about the rocky planets. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make the text white, much like the rest of the infographic, uh, but I'm gonna add a little shape behind the text. So if I just go down, I've selected the text. If I go down to shape, if I select shape, uh, you could add like different kinds of shapes, a speech bubble or like a laurel if you want. Um, I like this first one and I might play with the color of that. So I'm just gonna go back, I'm gonna go to shape. And as we can see, the shape fill here is this sort of yellowy color. So again, the rocky planets are the warmer planets. So I'm just gonna go to shape fill um, and I'm gonna select a sort of a, quite a warm sort of color. Maybe something that matches Mars might be quite nice. If you wanna get the exact color, you could use the eyedropper tool. So if I select the eyedropper, it means I can get a color that's already on my palette. And then I can select that. I think that looks really, really nice. Now this general fact I've added about the gas giants, at the moment, the alignment, it's centered. Um, I'm actually going to change that. So if I select the text and I go to alignment uh, and I'm going to select align left and I think that looks a bit better. So I've basically got the two pages of my infographic done. I've got kind of more general facts here. I might just align that one left. And on my second page, I've got a general fact about the gas giants and the ice giants. So I'm now going to put some individual facts about some of the planets. So I'm going to use this planets of our solar system BBC bite size web page to get some key information. For example, Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. Interestingly, Mercury is close to the sun, but the reason it's not uh, as hot as Venus is because Mercury basically has no atmosphere, so it can't retain any of that heat. So to add my individual facts, again, I'm gonna to go to text, add your text. Again, I'm gonna make sure the text is white. Now for this one, I'm gonna change the font for these individual facts. And I'd like to add in an arrow pointing at the correct planet. So I'm just gonna go down to elements uh, and I'm just gonna search for arrow, see what comes up. I quite like this sort of hand-drawn style. So I'm just gonna select that. Uh, I don't want it to be blue. So I'm just gonna uh, add an effect. I'm gonna go to uh, down here to effects. Uh, I'm gonna go to duotone, which is where you can kind of adjust the color. And I'm gonna go to custom and I'm gonna select white. So I'm just gonna resize that arrow uh, and maybe just rotate it a bit. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add a couple of facts for the planets on this page for the rocky planets. And I'm gonna add some more facts uh, for the gas giants and the ice giants. So there we go. We've added some individual facts about our different planets. Uh, we've said that Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Uh, Earth has the perfect or the right temperature to support life. If we look at our second page, uh, we can see that Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Uh, Uranus, interestingly, is the only planet to spin on its side. And as you can see from the image here, um, it does actually have rings similar to Saturn. And Neptune has an average temperature of minus 200 degrees Celsius. So there we go. There's our two page infographic giving information about the rocky planets, the gas giants and the ice giants. So the eight planets in our solar system. When you're finished, uh, you can download your work. You press the download button at the top. You can download it as a PNG uh, or as a PDF, however you like. Uh, you can select all pages if you want all pages and select download. And there you go, it's been downloaded into a folder there. Uh, you could also share your work. So if I press share, and if I press publish to web, what's gonna happen is it's gonna generate a link. I'm just gonna give it a title. Click publish link. And now it's gonna publish our design and generate a link. So we could either share this on Google Classroom uh, we can share it with our teacher, whoever we like. So there we go, it's generated the link. I can press copy link. I could open up a new tab and just paste my link in there and it will display my work in this web page. and I can press the arrow for the next page there. If you wanna share it directly with Google Classroom, simply press share, 
press Google Classroom, and then select the correct class and assignment and press go. So there we are. That's how you make a two page infographic about the planets in our solar system. And it's time now for you to have a go at making your own one.